Hey everyone, welcome back to Yusuf Reacts. Today, we're diving into the electrifying world of Shazam, the 2019 superhero film. That brings a lot of fun and heart to the DC Extended Universe. So, let's get started. Shazam, directed by David F. Sandberg, is a refreshing take on the superhero genre. It stars Escher Angel as Billy Batson, a 14-year-old foster kid who can transform into an adult superhero, played by Zachary Levi, by simply shouting one word. Shazam. The movie is based on the DC Comics character Shazam, originally known as Captain Marvel. It's a blend of action, comedy, and heartwarming moments, making it a standout in the DC. The story begins with Billy Batson, a troubled teen searching for his mother. He ends up in a foster home with five other kids. One day, he's magically transported to the Rock of Eternity, where the ancient wizard Shazam grants him superpowers to fight against the evil doctor, Thaddeus Savannah, played by Mark Strong. Let's break down what makes Shazam such an enjoyable movie. First off, the characters. Zachary Levi's performance as Shazam is brilliant. He perfectly captures the essence of a kid in a superhero's body it's like Big meets Superman. His comedic timing and childlike wonder make the character incredibly endearing. Asher Angel also does a fantastic job portraying Billy's emotional struggles and growth. The dynamic between Billy and his foster brother Freddy, played by Jack Dylan Grazer, is one of the highlights of the film. Their chemistry is genuine and adds a lot of heart to the story. Next up, the humor. Shazam is one of the funniest movies in the DCU. The jokes are well-timed and often poke fun at superhero tropes. Whether it's Shazam testing out his powers or trying to buy beer, the humor feels natural and never forced. The movie also balances humor with serious moments, ensuring that the stakes feel real. Dr. Savannah is a menacing villain with a compelling backstory adding depth to the conflict. Shazam isn't just about superpowers and fighting bad guys. It explores themes of family, belonging, and the idea that everyone has the potential to be a hero. Billy's journey to understand what family truly means is both touching and relatable. The foster family dynamic is beautifully portrayed, showing that family is not just about blood but about the people who support and care for you. And of course, we can't forget the action. The special effects are top-notch, and the action sequences are thrilling. Shazam's powers are showcased in creative and exciting ways, from flight and super strength to electricity manipulation. The final battle between Shazam and Doctor. Savannah is especially epic, with plenty of surprises and a satisfying conclusion. A newly fostered young boy in search of his mother instead finds unexpected superpowers and soon gains a powerful enemy. In Philadelphia, Billy Batson is an abandoned child who is proving a nuisance to child services and the authorities with his stubborn search for his lost mother. However, in his latest foster home, Billy makes a new friend, Freddy, and finds himself selected by the wizard Shazam to be his new champion now endowed with the ability to instantly become an adult superhero. By speaking the wizard's name, Billy gleefully explores his new powers with Freddy. However, Billy soon learns that he has a deadly enemy, Dr. Thaddeus Savannah, who was previously rejected by the wizard and has accepted the power of the seven deadly sins instead. Now pursued by this mad scientist for his own power as well. Billy must face up to the responsibilities of his calling while learning the power of a special magic with his true family that Savannah can never understand. Shazam explores Billy Batson's life. An abandoned 14-year-old looking for his parents. Isolating himself from anyone willing to give him anything until he is given a final chance to settle in. With a new foster family themselves orphans hoping they can help him see sense. Billy finds himself out of his depth quickly and it ends as so many had before. Him running away. But this time, he runs into a powerful wizard and must take the mantle of Shazam. Leaving him with a confusing face, 
a confusing body, confusing powers, and no one to turn to, but his foster family. In winter 1974, a young Thaddeus Savannah and his older brother are driven home by their father. While playing with his magic eight ball, Savannah is magically transported to the Rock of Eternity, where he meets a wizard, who introduced him to the mystical statues, containing the spirits of the seven deadly sins, pride, greed, lust, envy, gluttony, wrath, and sloth. The last of a council of seven, the wizard spent centuries searching for a new champion. Put to a test to see if he is pure of heart, Savannah attempts to touch the eye of envy, failing the test. Transported back to the car, he causes a scene in which his brother hits him, and his father to crash on ice, injured. The magic eight ball reads find me. A few years before modern day, Billy is at a carnival with his mother, who plays darts in vain to get a tiger. Afterwards, Billy loses a pendant ball he has and chases after it, separating from his mother. Lost, he is picked up by police who gets him to a foster home. In present-day Philadelphia, Billy bats and lures and traps police officers into a pawn shop, using their computer in hopes of searching the address of his long-lost mother. Traveling, he is disappointed. He is found and brought to a social services worker who puts him with the Vasquez family. And the other siblings, Eugene, Darla, Pedro, Mary and Freddie. In the office building of Savannah Industries, a woman tells a doctor about her experience and shares a video. Savannah takes the video to his office where he had a project that tracked people who had similar sightings around the world. And the video enabled him to find access to the wizard's lair. When questioned about it, Savannah turns the doctor into dust. He uses the symbols to access the lair, confronts the wizard, and touches the energy ball by Enzi, unleashing the seven deadly sins. They form into an eye and sits at home and latches itself into his right eye. At school, the foster children shows Billy around the school, as he adjusts. At lunch, Freddy sits with Billy and after trying to pester him for a few minutes and attempts to get him to know him better. Outside, bullies drive him and hit Freddy. Billy stands up to the bullies and hits them with Freddy's walking stick and runs into the subway to avoid them. While on the train, symbols appear and he enters the Rock of Eternity. The wizard reveals he had previously given his to someone else, but had turned evil and killed numerous people and released the seven deadly sins. The wizard vowed to search for someone who possessed a pure of heart, leading him to search for millennia. He chooses Billy, who has to say the word Shazam. Billy says the word and transforms into the champion Shazam, and the wizard disappears. Shazam returns to Philadelphia and returns to the foster home and meets with Freddy. Testing all the abilities, lightning, super speed, and strength. They enter a store and stop an armed robbery. Heading home, he discovers he reverts to his other form by saying Shazam. At Savannah Industries, DR Savannah barges into a corporate meeting hosted by his brother and father, who had lost his legs in the accident from the night in 1974. A confrontation between the siblings results in Savannah throwing his brother out of the window and showing off the sins in his eyes, slaughtering everyone in the room, including his father. Freddy posts videos of Shazam's powers, going viral. Freddy and Billy are in school and skip school when Billy poses as Shazam to check them out. Leaving, they get around to test fire and unity, flight, and strength. Happy, they walk through a mall where they use the lightning ability to charge people's cell phones. Get sodas for free, attempt to purchase a lair from a real estate agent, and going to a strip club. He comes out and says we need more money. They go to an ATM, zapping it and taking some of the money, using it to purchase merchandise. Next day at school the bullies begin to mess with Freddy and Billy again until Freddy tells them he knows the new hero Red Cyclone. They don't believe him but he promises and tells them that he'll get him to show up to lunch tomorrow. Freddy and Billy get into a bit of an argument over him just assuming and trying to use Billy for his powers. That night at dinner the father asks the family what they think of the new hero. Everyone gives input and Freddy takes a dig at Shazam and then him and Billy. Get into a bit of an argument leaving the rest of the family confused. 
At school the next day, Billy decides not to attend school because he wants to find his mother, despite Freddy asking for lunch. Shazam does various things, taking selfies and showing off lightning for money. He sees and saves Mary from being hit by a car and talking to her. Makes him realize she is upset that, because of college, she will have to leave her family. Shazam accidentally reveals he knew her name and housing situation, but leaves. Freddy finds Shazam and tries to talk to him, yet Shazam tries to defuse it. Shooting lighting that hits the tires of a bus across the city, sending it off the side of the bridge. Catching it, Shazam puts it on the concrete, only to be promptly told he's not using his powers right. Hearing the commotion, Doctor? Savannah shows up and demands the powers that Shazam possesses. Brushing him off, Shazam is promptly thrown around and lands through a mall, while discovering his ability to fly. Savannah hunts him down, but Shazam transforms back into Billy and runs. Freddy is there and is taken hostage by Savannah, who demands to be taken to Billy. Billy shows up, and they know with Eugene telling him where his mother is. She is only to subway stops away. Billy rushes out of his house with his foster parents in tow. Back at the house, Savannah shows up with Freddy and traps the children. Billy arrives at his mother's apartment complex. His mother informs Billy he was intentionally abandoned on that day and saw him with the police and that he would be better cared for by others since she was 17. Controlling his emotions in the face of the heartbreaking reality that his stubborn years-long search for his mother was for nothing. Billy quietly reassures his mother that he is fine, but he has to return to his real family. However, Billy gives his mother the keychain compass she gave him years ago with a comment. Mixed with regret, resentment and understanding about her, you might need it more than me. Leaving, he receives a call and Savannah tells him to come home. Billy jumps off the apartment building and transforms to Shazam and FLI's home. Shazam decides to give up the power to save his family and Savannah opens a magical door to the Rock of Eternity. Taking the wizard's staff, Savannah unleashes the seven deadly sins. The siblings enter the cave and distract Savannah long enough for them to run and exit into a winter carnival. Savannah and the sins attack the carnival, shooting at a ferris wheel almost tipping over. Savannah and Shazam fight all around the carnival. Getting a hold of the wizard's stick, Shazam and his family yell his name and transmits his power to his family, transforming them into the Shazam family, each an adult superhero. Each fighting one sin, Shazam engages with Savannah while flying through skyscrapers. As it goes to tip over Freddy FLIs in and saves the last two people on it, the bullies. Shazam and Savannah end up on a rooftop and Shazam goads the one deadly sin who remained envy. It rips itself out from Savannah's eye and Shazam yells Shazam, hurting it. Savannah is knocked off the roof, now mortal. Shazam grabs Savannah and drags him to the carnival, ripping the magical eye out. Saving the day, the Shazam family basks in the cheers of the crowd, takes the eye back to the lair and return the sins for keeping. Shazam and Freddy decide this is their lair. Back at the foster home, everyone returned to their original form, and are watching a newscast of the carnival instance, with Santa Claus describing the event. The foster family all talk and laugh and Billy finally feels happy and safe accepting a family. At school, Freddy sits down at lunch and the entire table leaves so all his siblings come and sit next to him. The bullies show up and ask if he's still friends with Red Cyclone Shazam shows up and tells the school how Freddy showed him everything it means to be a hero and that he also brought another friend Superman. In the mid-credits scene, Savannah in a prison cell doodling the symbols all over the wall in a futile effort to reopen the portal. Until he's interrupted by the alien caterpillar, Mr. Mind, who tells him of the pillars of evil that will come together. In the post-credits scene, Shazam tries to talk to Fish a law Aquaman. In conclusion, Shazam is a fantastic addition to the DC. It's a film that appeals to both kids and adults with its perfect mix of humor, heart, and heroism. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend giving it a watch. Thanks for watching this review.
If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to Yousaf Reacts, and ring the bell for notifications on our latest content. Let me know in the comments what you thought of Shazam and what your favorite moment was. See you next time.